Uh, people have been exposed to aflatoxin for a, a long time. It's, it's in peanut butter, certainly. It's in a lot of other um, food products uh, and can be uh, in other things as well. Uh, people have been consuming it, so um, you, know, it, it's, you can't avoid it. Uh, it is a carcinogen uh, in animal studies, and there's a lot of evidence to, s to say that it's carcinogenic in, in humans as well. Um, the, uh, um, the risk from consuming aflatoxin, however, is still unknown, I think, and low, and frequently it's associated with, um, with, others, with other sorts of infections, so there, has to be, there tends to be some viral infection going on as well. So the ultimate ability of aflatoxin to cause cancer by itself, I think, is still um, uh, not completely clear. So no, I don't think uh, if you eat a lot of peanut butter sandwiches, you're going to die without your greens. But I think the key here is that this, this study shows that um, there's a way to, to study um, very specifically how, with, by defining the exact amounts of a carcinogen or, or a chemical that you may be taking in for your diet, and how other factors, what we call chemoprotective agents, can protect you against that. So in this case, in this study in particular, what was shown was that for a defined, extremely small amount of aflatoxin uh, that someone consumes, that having, uh, that having chlorophyll or the chlorophyll derivative called chlorophyllin reduces the amount of aflatoxin in your body that's available to, uh, to cause cancer. And that's a significant finding. I think because in the past it's all been somewhat inferential, uh, meaning that you, you uh, uh, look at people who you know are eating peanut butter sandwiches but you don't always know how much aflatoxin they're getting um, and, and trying to infer things. So, so this is really significant because it was, an, it was a study where we were able to give a, a very controlled amount of aflatoxin that we know very well in combination with a very specific amount of a potential chemoprotective agent and test specifically whether it reduces the amount of aflatoxin that you or I are really uh, taking into our bodies. And that is new.